The ACE prosodic tests consists of typical threshold measurement by means of an adaptive algorithm. The sentence intonation test is a discrimination task to assess the temporal coding of sound. It was developed by a European consortium consisting of companies and universities of Belgium, the Netherlands, Italy and Romania. This project was funded by a European Seventh Framework Research Grant. It is known that in many languages, prosody contributes to the processing of semantics, syntax, discourse structure, and also paralinguistic information. Linguistically relevant constructions that are cued by low-frequency information were identified in different Germanic and Romance languages. Intonation is such a construction which plays an important role in the prosodic coding at the discourse level. It is used to distinguish between different types of utterances, for instance statements and questions. The most important acoustic correlative prosody is the fundamental frequency. The perceptual correlate of this is pitch. As said in the General Ace video, it is believed that the coding of this low-frequency information, or TFS, can be affected in case of hearing impairment. It is also believed that this TFS coding by cochlear implants is limited. Based on an inventory of over 30,000 Dutch, Italian and Romanian syllables, pseudo-sentences have been constructed. They consist of syllables that are possible in these three languages that consist of frequently occurring phonemes and that are sonorant. These syllables consist of the consonants M and N and the vowels A, I and U. Four to six of these syllables were concatenated to simulate a sentence. A fixed pitch accent was imposed on the second syllable to mimic a typical sentence-like structure. A rise of F0 was imposed on the last syllable. This delta F0 is variable and ranging from 0 to 208 Hz. The test consists of a same different task. A pseudo sentence is presented twice, once with a flat ending, delta F0 is 0 Hz. And once with a delta F0 between 0 and 208 Hz. The listener is asked to respond whether both are equal or different. An adaptive algorithm changes delta F0 in function of the listener's response. It converges to the smallest delta F0 that is still perceived by the listener. This is the just noticeable difference or JND. As said, two sounds are presented, one of which is the pseudo sentence of 200 Hz, the other the same pseudo sentence with a rise of delta F0 in the final syllable. <laughs> The listener should respond equal or different. If the listener discriminates the sounds, delta becomes smaller. And vice versa. Internal controls and stochastic processes improve the test efficacy and accuracy. The graph shows the responses and how the algorithm converges to threshold. The cumulative responses for each delta can be followed on the histogram. Please notice that the cue to discriminate the sounds lies in the difference in fundamental frequency together with the differences in the harmonics. Since phase locking is believed to be essential for the coding of low frequencies, ACE contains the possibility to low filter the pseudo sentences. In this case all spectral content above 300 Hz is removed from the sound. Now the cue for discrimination is only contained in the low frequencies. <laughs> How to use and interpret the test results. Since this test is fairly new, its use and interpretation still have to be explored. It is believed that the absolute value of the JND gives an idea of the low frequency coding of the cochlea. Preliminary data show that listeners with normal hearing have JNDs of less than 15 Hz on average and of less than 35 Hz in most cases. This may be different in listeners with high frequency or low frequency sensorineural hearing loss with hearing aids or cochlear implants. In addition, it is anticipated that within one subject, the difference between the JND without or with low pass filtering is indicative of problems with the coding of temporal fine structure. 
Indeed, while the unfiltered sound still contains high-frequency cues, the filtered sound does not. Bad coding of temporal fine structure may therefore result in a higher JND with these filtered sounds, whereas the JND with unfiltered sounds may remain better.